KFW, um, we are in the core field of international cooperation and sustainable development, and we are active in several sectors, um, agriculture, water, forestry, uh, infrastructure, energy, and so on. And my role is to leverage the uh, earth observation uh, for better decision making, starting by the ideation, preparation of the activities that will be uh, um, financed and implemented through the implementation phase that will be done on site by our partners, and then the monitoring of the progress on the activities, and then finally uh, the evaluation of the impact uh, of, of the project. And so here you can imagine the amount of the information that is needed at every stage of this process, of this cycle, and the decision making that has to be done. And here comes the challenge. Typically in the monitoring phase, our project manager will go on site, meet with the stakeholders, visit the selected uh, project sites, and uh, verify the progress on the activities and report on them. Now, due to the uh, travel restrictions because of the pandemic that the whole world has experienced recently, or in other cases because of fragile contexts, uh, because of conflict areas, or simply for uh, efficiency reasons, the idea of using or managing the projects remotely and on the base of geospatial information became more attractive in KFW and became almost a necessity. So we've conceived and created uh, a geoinformation service uh, with uh, specialized capacities located in the what we call uh, RMV labs. Now App 42 platform answered a very specific need in terms of easy access to very high resolution satellite imagery. The project was about rehabilitation of agricultural irrigation perimeter in Niger. Uh, so there the need was access to more visual detail. Um, so we uh, uh, could have access to Pleiad and spot satellite imagery uh, from uh, App42 platform um, on different dates, uh, different seasons, and we could have a proxy information about the vegetation health, the usability of the irrigation perimeter typically using the normalized difference uh, vegetation index, the NDVI, among others. On behalf of the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, KFW financed the rehabilitation of a large irrigation infrastructure along uh, the Niger River in order to boost agricultural production. The rice yields could be tripled for around 8,000 smallholder farmers and those smallholder farmers have families with around 10 family members and this means that around 80,000 people have now improved uh, living conditions in Niger. We tried uh, to find out about the long-term impact of our projects, therefore we used um, satellite images in order to see if the huge um, flash floods in 2020 damaged um, some of um, the infrastructure that KFW financed. Fortunately, we could see that agricultural production is still there and that the infrastructure is also still intact. This is what permis also to do a campaign pluvial. That is, the campaign pluvial and the campaign sèche. And our project has also augmented the rendement because we have passed from 4 tons per hectare in 2015 to more than 7 tons per hectare, but in two campaigns, so it's 14 tons per hectare. On one side, uh, the, the platform offered us a direct access to very high resolution satellite imagery, all in one platform. And on the other side, the per use pricing model uh, on archive data encouraged significantly the usage of very high resolution satellite imagery in our project. Additionally, the data API offers also flexibility in terms of integrating its functionalities in our in-house uh, web-based platforms or any other platform that we intend to develop in the future. The rollout on Earth Observation data is part of a broader innovation agenda in KFW. We use innovation as a means to become um, quicker, to improve the quality uh, of our work um, to increase the effectiveness of our development uh, uh, interventions. Um, the cooperation with UP42 has helped us um, to set up our geodata desk and the network of geodata scouts um, at high speed. I'm actually very proud of the unprecedented pace at which we have experimented and learned. We will review of what we have achieved um, and decide on how to proceed and how to further develop and potentially scale up this approach within KFW.